Hey guys, it's Elizabeth Liao here, and I am here with the incredible makeup artist Min Min Ma, who is going to help me take my day look into the night with our favorite Jane Iredell products. Come join us. Okay, so what are you what are you thinking for us today? Well, you have a really good daytime look right now. Um, you have the pure press base, a little bit of the glow time highlighter, and a little bit of the mascara and the eyebrows, so I'm not going to touch that. I'm going to do a nice soft bronzed smoky eye look for you. Ooh. I'm going to line a little bit of your eyelids with the mystical powdered eyeliner in dark topaz with just a bronze brown color so I'm just lining along the lash line very quickly I'm gonna go back with the dark brown from the eyeshadow palette and smudge out the liner Now we're going to go back with a blending brush and now, right now you're just going to blend, blend, blend in circular motion. And I'm going to use the wine color. Under the eye. Under the eyes, along the waterline. You know, you were the first makeup artist that like did that look on me where you took the eyeshadow underneath. Mm -hmm. And I, I remember thinking, oh my gosh, wow. Well, I prefer to have like the eyes be the main event because mm -hmm. then you don't have like such full face heaviness because I exactly. wear so much makeup. I'm always looking for a way to like just do the important bits. Okay, so now I'm going to go back with the dark topaz and I'm just going to do the waterline on top. Now we're gonna go back and blend some more I'm using both the brow and the wine color. Okay, actually I'm not done because I want to tie in that wine color on the I love that any kind of makeup that is also good for the skin. Yes. Because it's like more so than anything you have to you have to take care of your skin. Like this is why I love about Jane Aradell is that it's clean makeup, it's non-toxic, um, it's made with ingredients that are skin benefiting, uh -huh. um, and it performs so well. Don't you love the Beyond Lash Mascara? It's like I do. fake lashes right yeah. away. It's like all of a sudden, um, oh, it's happening. It's all happening. Boom. All right. So, like I said, I, we usually use um, the Henny brush with the Pure Press base. I just want to do spot concealing almost, like spot treating it. So, I'm just oh, going so to use a smaller, smaller brush. brush. Yeah. But the application, the technique is still the same. You go downward. Yeah. yeah. I also like the Pure Press base because it has um, built in SPF in it. Mm -hmm. um, so, throughout the day, as you're uh, touching your skin, up you continuously have some protection right so you're also protecting yourself. exactly especially around the eyes area again it's a sensitive area so make sure that you have protection okay so I'm using the bronzer and I'm just going to softly contour your features so underneath the cheekbone area the jawline yes teach me about bronzer because I know it's very trendy. It is very trendy, um, and it's definitely a great look to for the smoky eye because it kind of just warms everything up. The Jane Ardell Pure Press blushes are, like to me, like one of their best products. I think everybody should have it. Um, professional makeup artist, um, especially the matte shades, it's great. Um, and you'll see we're also going to layer it with the Glow Times highlighter stick which is a cream base right. and it works really well with this powdered base product and I'm just adding on the apple of the cheeks so pretty great so I let it sit and then let's decide on the lips I'm really drawn to this one. I love this color Cosmo 
That looks great. Are there any tips and tricks for lips? No, I think you're doing a really good job. Color in the lines. Yeah. It's finally coming in handy. How do I do? <laughs> great. So I just wanted to show you a trick. Um, you have great lips, but um, I sometimes I use a lip liner to trace the, the edge of the lips just to give more of a definition. And you can do this before the lip gloss or after, but I tend to like to do it after the lip gloss. Um, you feel like it blends better? Exactly, and it looks more natural. There you go. And then my favorite step, the last step. <laughs> I'm using the Glow Time um, highlighting stick. I love this. I also I use this in my life. <laughs> and then you can drag it into the apple of the cheek. Go that way. I feel like it complements the pure press base foundation really well. Mm -hmm. And that foundation is the best I've ever had. Yeah. And I feel like it's it's the kind of foundation like once you find it, you hold on to it forever. I know. Like, you're, just, you're a lifer. I'm a lifer. Yeah. And I'm not the only one. I, you know, with like those key products like a mascara, foundation, or even skincare, when you find something that works for you, stick, stick to it. Stick with it. Yeah. Especially when you have sensitive skin. Exactly. Or, you know, skin that's constantly like going through the elements or going through the works. Well, this is why it's, it's really important to find products that are non-toxic and clean and right. So that's not irritating for the skin. And this is our final look. Thank you so much, Min Min, for making me feel beautiful and extra sultry and, and sophisticated tonight. Um, I can't wait to go out on the town like this, and I hope you guys all try it at home. Shop around, head to Jane Iredell, and you won't be sorry. They truly have the best skin-loving products, and I can't wait to hear what you think. Be well.